Hello everybody. You heard from my last video how I was in the middle of my uh, discovery tour. Uh, just to say that's still happening. Uh, what I wanted to do today is just give you a bit of an update on some observations that I've made uh, so far and also as a result of those some work we've been doing as a combined leadership team on some new obsessions that uh, we would like us all as a team to work to. Well, what, what craziness is this, you might ask? Well, our, obses our obsessions are an attempt to try and simplify everything we do, to be a guide that we always have in our head to help make sure that everything we do and how we do it is aligned to delivering the best outcomes for the trust. So what are the things we might obsess about? Yes, the best outcomes. I want us to obsess about outcomes. It's not about what the technology does or what the report does, how many columns or colours or whatever it has in, it's what outcome is it contributing to. That's the thing that I'm really keen for us to keep in mind so we can make best overall use of our resources to deliver some of those things. Uh, most of us are here because we want to make a difference. You know, we work in the public sector, we work in the NHS because we want to make a contribution into society, a contribution to the world to help others, patients, clinicians, whatever. And these obsessions are things to keep us aligned to that. You know, they're not plans or anything like that. They're key things that I believe and the leadership team believe we should be working to. So here we go. Obsession number one. And these are not in order, actually, but this is the first one. Making it easy for clinicians. So everything we do or whatever we do, how is it making it easy for clinicians? And when we deliver something, how is it making it easy for clinicians? And if it's not making it easy for clinicians, that's not aligned to our obsession. So I hope that helps to give a bit of an explanation on it. So this is about making it easy for clinicians to do their job. We want York to be the place to work for all clinicians, nurses, AHPs, etc. Clinicians is the overall uh, definition for, for, for me. It's not just the doctors. Therefore, delivery of digital and information services that provide a good user experience for me, for instance, that are seamless, easy to use, is key to user satisfaction and making it easy for clinicians, in my opinion. And an important part of how, if it's easy for clinicians, uh, it's an important part of how th things are adopted and therefore we get the benefits out of them. So obsession number one, and as I say, this is not the priority number one, but the first obsession I'm talking about is making it easy for clinicians. And we are going to come up with measures for some of these and the leadership team are going to be talking and engaging with you about how we come up with some measures to measure how we make it easy for clinicians. It might be in that instance, for instance, I'm conscious of the new cohort of uh, uh, junior doctors and the like that have come in, in in August, maybe we baseline survey where they're at now with our services and maybe baseline again a year from now. Obsession number two, making best use of resources overall. So are we making best uses of resources overall when we are doing something? And that is a an obsession. I'd like uh, our new service and the trust to commit to making best overall utility of our people, our finance and our information. So what example of what this could mean? So as an example, we could employ a principle of good is good enough uh, around developing new capabilities. So if we're developing a new capability in CPD, for instance, what is the minimum viable product that will deliver the outcome that we're trying to achieve? Maybe the best clinical experience, yeah? Versus developing something which is very bespoke. Uh, by developing minimum viable products that delivers the outcomes in less times, it means we can move on to maybe the next thing and the next opportunity. We're not losing the opportunity. You know, we're not, we haven't got the situation of opportunity cost. So making best use of resources ever, overall. If we're doing something, are we making best use of resources overall? The third obsession, we will work with people, not to or for people. What does that mean? Well, in my view, there's no such thing as an IT project. Information and technology is the means to an end, not the end itself. So when we are working on projects, again, we're focusing on the outcome. 
So we do joint projects with the business, with clinicians. We co-produce solutions. We do things with people, not to or for them. It's really important that if we're going to affect better outcomes, we need to work with people. To work with people, not to or for people. Our next obsession, our stuff is mission critical. So all of our information assets, critical systems are secure, resilient, recoverable and supported. You know, if the trust wants to put digital at the core of its strategy going forward, I guess that's part of the reason why they've uh, recruited a new CDIO. That's part of the spec. So therefore, if that is the case, if digital is at the core of what the strategy does in its operation, and that's where it's going to be, it's, it's mission critical. And if it's mission critical, it's really important that that which we do, and we have it as a, an obsession in our mind, is secure, resilient, recoverable, and supported. Really important uh, when, when we're making decisions around things like that. From the information standpoint, we should obsess, or we will obsess around simplifying, standardizing, and sharing our information. Why bespoke things? It's linked into a, into a previous obsession, to be honest, in, in terms of making best use of our resources overall. But we will simplify, standardise and share our information assets. You know, not have multiple information assets all over the place. Information is king and is core to everything we do. Anything that happens from a technology point of view is ultimately there to provide information for people to make better decisions. It might be an immediate decision which is automated. It might be a decision from a report for secondary usages to give us an idea of how we're going from a performance point of view, etc., etc. But the important thing for us really is our obsession is about simplifying, standardising and sharing our information. That's what we're, we're about. And if we're not doing that, we need to question it. And then the final one is something to think about where we can. We will work with partners across the system to provide a better joined up approach to digital health and care. So working with partners, if we can work with partners, we might be able to do things better and it's more joined up for patients. It's more joined up for people and potentially there's opportunities for savings. So if we can, we will work with partners across the system to provide a better joined up approach to digital health and care. So there are obsessions and repeating ourselves is good. So making it easy for clinicians, making the best use of resources overall. We will work with people, not two or four people. Our stuff is mission critical. So all of our information assets are secure, resilient, recoverable and supported. We will simplify, standardise and share our information and we'll work with partners across the system where we can. These are all about outcomes, not outputs. What outcome are we enabling? What outcome are we contributing to? So Kev, Adrian, Nikki and Fiona and Donald possibly will be engaging with you to go through these in a lot more detail, to get your views and in particular come up with ways in which we can measure progress or even baseline progress. The guys are already working on what the current state is and future state, as in where are we now, where do we want to be? These obsessions are core to that. So really important to get your views, challenges, etc. On, on, on some of these. As I say, the draft, we're sharing these with you to get your views and, uh, and importantly, uh, ultimately to get your commitment to them. And commitment is where you really want to do something. When we commit to something, a commitment to commitment and we, and, and we stick to those things. So again, if it's not aligned to our obsessions, in theory, we shouldn't be doing it or we should certainly be questioning uh, uh, it. I think it pays to obsess and uh, these are those things. The other thing for me about these obsessions is that once we have these agreed and in place, we might get some posters up wherever, maybe that's a bit cheesy, but I think it's important to remind ourselves of, of them. I want us to hold each other to account for them, including me. So when I want to do my fancy project or whatever, how is it aligned to those obsessions? Yeah, How is it making it easier for clinicians? How is it making best use of resources overall, etc.? 
Okay, so they're the obsessions. As I said, uh, the leadership team are going to be engaging with you guys to talk about these and to gain your feedback. Uh, as another thing and another option, I am planning to put in, and I have got some drop-in sessions periodically in, me, in my diary. These are slots where anyone from across the digital, from, from across the services can come and see me, say hi, contribute, challenge, provide a view, whatever. The first one of these is on the 27th of August, uh, which is between the hours of nine and 11. So it's a drop-in, first comes, first serve. Uh, please email me and, and Lisa Gray if you want to book a 30 minute slot. Uh, you don't have to use the full 30 minutes, but that's how we'll do them. So obviously there are four slots on the 27th of August. Don't feel people have to do this. They're just there if they want to. Could be to talk about some of these things, whatever. Anyway, I'm conscious of the fact we'd normally be doing these sort of things as part of things like away days or workshops or all staff days. That's what I'd normally be doing. So I'm hoping these videos uh, with the opportunity for you to discuss with your managers and teams uh, and provide your feedback are hopefully uh, good enough for now. Uh, not ideal, but hopefully good enough for now and uh, hopefully aligned to our obsessions. So I'm signing off there. Uh, uh, thank you for listening and uh, keep up the good work. Oh, one last thing actually. Uh, I think we need a rename of the service. So now that all of the services are combined under one, uh, I'm not sure some of the current names potentially make sense overall. So in terms of a suggestion and another thing, please uh, answers on a postcard, any feedback accepted. I'm suggesting that we call our combined service the digital and information service. And that is a service which is made up of application development and support. Uh, led by Kev, Infrastructure and Service Management, led by uh, Aid, Business Intelligence, led by Nikki, and Information Governance and Compliance, led by Fiona. They are just suggestions. Again, please, feedback, gratefully uh, received. Okay, signing off. Appreciate that was uh, a bit longer than two minutes, uh, but this has been, can you give me 12 minutes? Thank you.